In this video, we will learn about the math module in Python. What is the math module and how we can use it? We will also learn with some examples. With that, we will also work around the function under the math module. Let's begin. So, the math module in Python is basically used to perform mathematical functions that includes trigonometry, logarithmic. Okay. Now, let us see how we can import the math module. To import the math module you need to write import math in the beginning of your program that's it after that you can use all the methods of the math module now guys let us see some examples of the function under math module you can see i told you it is it includes the trigonometry as well as the logarithmic functions as well as it also defines mathematical constants let's begin with the examples this is our PyCharm ID. Let us create a new project, file new project. Click on create. Now we have created our project. Let us go for the first program. Press enter. Here it is. SQRT function. The SQRT function is basically used to return the square root of any number let us see how we can find it so it's a part of math module let us first import math module we can add an alias also using the as m so now if you want to use the math you can straight away write m directly so i'll just directly print the square root of let's say 64 and right click and run here you can see 8 in the same way we can add a square root of other values let's say I'll run it and here we are with the square root of the number added under the SQRT method in this way you can work around the SQRT function now let us go for the seal function So here it is a seal function in python okay it is basically used to round a number up to the next largest integer okay let's see an example so we will first import our math function import math and we will use an alias to add m here so that you don't need to use the word math again and again you can directly use m so i just want to find the seal okay so for that i'll directly use m dot seal and within that I'll add a value let's say I added a 5 dot 35 now I'll run it minus 5 dot 35 so it printed minus 5 let me do for plus 5.35 let's see what is visible 6 is visible that means rounding a number up to the next largest integer okay so let us add more examples uh, let's say I'll add uh, 95 6.95 and let's see what will be visible right click run 97 okay so it is returning the next largest integer so in this way you can work around the seal function in python let's move further we'll go to floor function here it is floor function at first i'll import and uh, add an alias using as now what does floor function do so it will return the value of a number rounded to the nearest integer so it will return the integer less than or equal to the given number okay now we will see an example okay so i'll directly print and use the m dot floor within that i'll add a value let's say i added the value minus 25.98 and I'll right click and run it here it is 26 is visible in the same way let me add for 25.98 let's see what is visible 25 is visible another example uh, let's say I went for 70.15 uh, now let's see what is visible right click run 70 so it returned the largest integer less than or equal to the given number okay that means 70.15 the output is 70 in this way the floor function works 
let us move to the next function that is POW function in Python. So it is basically used to return the value of x to the power of y. Okay. So let's see an example. At first, import uh, math and add uh, and add an alias. I added m for math. Okay. After that, I'll be finding the I'll be using the m dot pow that is math module dot pow function to find two raised to the power seven. Right click and run. Here you can see two raised to the power is one twenty eight. Let's try I'll find four raised to the power three. It's sixty four. In this way, you can work around the pow function to return the value of x raised to the power y. Okay. Now I'll move towards FABS function. It is uh, basically used to get the return the absolute value of a number. Okay, so import the math module again and add an alias. After that, guys, what I'll do? I'll directly return. I'll directly. I'll directly return the absolute value. Okay, so why we have f a b s here? Because it will return the absolute value of a number as a float. Okay, so herein I'll add let's say minus thirty forty five point eighty nine. Right click run. It returned the absolute value. Now let us add minus ninety eight. It will print ninety eight. And the resultant value is a float. So we used f abs, that is getting the absolute value of a number as a float using the f abs function. Now let us work around another example. So here in what we'll do, we will be working around factorial function in Python. It is basically used to return the factorial of a number. So I'll directly, so I'll just import the math library with an alias m. I'll print the factorial m dot factorial m dot factorial and let's say I want factorial for seven. Right click and run. Here it is five zero four zero. Now let's say I'll run uh, factorial for zero is one. Uh, the factorial of one is one and uh, factorial of uh, three is six. So right click and run easily. You can see factorial of seven is five zero four zero. Zero is one. Factorial of one is one, and factorial of three is six. In this way, you can get the factorial of any number. Now let us work around some trigonometric examples. So here we have the first. The first one we have here is sine. It is used to return the sine of a number. So for that, I'll import the math lab, the math module, and an alias. Now I'll print the sign. How using module dot math dot sign. So let's say I want in the bracket add the value for which you want the sign. Right click and run, and here it is. Okay. So let's say you want the sign of degrees. For that you need to first convert it into radians using the radi using the radians method. So let's see that example also. So I just copied this. Now I told you we'll be using math dot oh sorry m dot because I use an alias m dot radians and within that I'll add values. So this will give you sine thirty degree. Right click run because we converted it. At first we converted it. Okay. So this is sine thirty, which is zero point four nine nine. That is sine value of thirty degrees. In this way you can work around the sine function. Now let us work around the cos function in Python, which is used to return the cos of a number. At first, import the math module, and we have also set an alias m. Use the module dot cos to get the value. Let's say cos ten. Here is the value. You can also get the. You can also find the. Cos of degrees 
by just converting to math dot radians. Let's see. Within that, you can add the degrees. Okay, that is this is how you can find cos thirty degree because we use the radians method. We have converted. Okay, right click and run. This will display the cos value of thirty degrees. Okay, here it is. In this way, you can work around the cos function in Python. Now work around the tan. Now we can work around the tan function. At first, import math module and set an alias. The tan method is used to return the tangent of a number. Okay, so I'll just print uh, use the math module and the tan method, and I'll just print a value. Let's say let's say tan forty five. Okay, so here we have found for tan forty five. Okay, the following is here. Here it is. If you want to find for forty five degrees, let's say. So what I'll do? I'll show you another way. For that, I'll be using math dot radians, and I'll add forty five in it. Right click run. Here you can see the value for tan forty five. Forty five degree is the following. Okay, that is one. In this way, you can work around the tan function. Now, I also told you that I also told you we we can also work with log function, logarithmic functions with the math module. So here it is, log function in Python. I'll first import and add an alias. The log function is used to return the natural log of a number. Okay, so I'll just directly print. Uh, let's say. M dot log log value of let's say log two. Right click and run. Okay, let us print log one value also. Right click and run. This way you can get the natural logarithmic of a number using the log function in Python. So guys, in this video we saw how we can work around the math module. What is its usage? How we can easily work around its functions? How we can easily import it? Thank you for watching the video.